Hello again. In this video, I'm going to show you another translation tip to support newcomers in your classroom as well as any other ELL or their family. So this specific resource is one that I'm pretty excited about, and it's a Google Sheet that allows you to translate one word, phrases, short sentences into multiple languages really easily just by essentially typing in the word and then it plugs it in across the board. So I got this from History Sandoval on Twitter. She's amazing. If you have other translation needs or just want some really great ideas for using technology, follow her. She's fantastic. And then I also got some of this other information on the second tab I'm going to discuss from Jake Miller Tech, who's also another fantastic person to follow on Twitter so you get some of his ideas. So if you look here on this spreadsheet, there's actually some interesting things to know. So whenever you're translating content or you're using some of the translation tools on a device, there are certain codes that apply to different languages. And if you type in some of those codes, it will automatically translate it for you. So the example here is that Spanish, the code is ES, Chinese simplified. There's actually two here, but those are the two examples. Arabic is AR, and there's a whole list of them on the second tab here. And that's what you can use to set up additional translations if perhaps the example that I have for you here doesn't have every language that you need or every language that's represented in your classroom and with your students. So if I needed to use this, you notice here I just typed in a couple words and it translated all of these. So if I need to add another one, right, I just typed it word there, but nothing happened yet. All right, so a cool, helpful hack on Google Sheets is that if you click in a cell, what you can do here is drag it down and it will apply that same formula that I have here that's using this translation here in Sheets to translate the cells in column A into the cells here in these different languages. If I just click and drag that little blue down, it applies it down all of those different columns in those cells. So I can repeat the same thing here can go all the way down the line. If you wanted to make it really easy for yourself, you could just apply it all the way down here and you won't see anything until you actually type the words out. But those are some examples. You can just keep dragging it and clicking it all the way down. All right. So what it's doing here is it's using a specific formula that's in Google Sheets called equal Google Translate. And then it's taking the cell information here in column A, so A2, and it's taking it and realizing that the original input language here is English, but I want the output to be in this language code, which the code for this is ES, which means Spanish. So when it does that, it converts the word here. Other examples here are if I go a little bit further down, you notice the cell changes, and that's the benefit of just clicking and dragging it is it will automatically make those cell numbers increase. So it applies it to the correct cell that you're wanting that to go to. Now let's say I need another language on here and I don't know what the country code is. If I go to, uh, I shouldn't say country, but language code. If I click here in the second tab where it says set up more translations, there's a really awesome website that's linked here. And if I click this, it shows me what these different codes are. Now, some of them have more than one. If you put one of these codes in, it should work because they're pretty synonymous with each other. But if you want a tutorial on this, here's the screenshot I took from Drake Miller Tech where he shows you how to do this activity and the actual formula here. So for my example here, I want another column here to be in Italian. All right. So if I click back to my sheet one where I have all of these words, I've typed in the word here. So it's still using the words in my cell A. But what I need to do is fix this equation here to where it's in Italian. All right. So if I looked up my formula, I have everything good here. And the only thing I need to change is this last one here, which is the output. So what language I want it translated into. So for my example, Italian is IT. So I just type it in there and it translates the word. And if I want this to apply to all of the words in here, I'm just gonna click and drag. And now I have that in Italian. All right, so other options here, if I want to do another language, I'll show you. Let's look up a translate code here. And let's pick another one so I can select Let's do Haitian Creole, All right? So if I go back over here, what I'm going to do to make things a little bit easier for myself is I'm just going to copy this equation. I'm going to click in this cell for column K. I'm going to paste in that equation. And then the next thing I'm just going to change is my language code here for my output. All right. And there we go. 
translated that into Haitian Creole so I can click and drag and take it all the way down that cell again. All right, so that is how you can use Google Sheets to translate into multiple languages. Maybe this is a resource you give to your students or to your families, or it's just one for your own purposes, but it can be really helpful for translating things if you have a lot of languages in your classroom and want to make signs or flyers that is very representative of language needs and words for your students.